football fans think about when you first fell for the sport. I didn't know anything about NFL football realistically until like 10 years old. As a child, Barty Agaramani, who was born in Iran, had a love of another kind of football. I grew up playing soccer. So from Iran, when I moved here when I was four, soccer was all we talked about. And it was really, I didn't grow up in a sports family. His road to becoming a football agent and founding International Sports Agency in Orange County goes back. My cousin came from Iran to uh, America. Before he came to Southern California, he lived in Chicago for like three to six months. So when he came to see us and like live with us and kind of, you know, get settled here in Southern California, he would, he showed up and he kept talking about the Chicago Bears, Chicago Bears. So that year, the Bears won the Super Bowl. He now reps a roster of players across the country. Since you rep players from different teams, do you have a favorite team? Now I just follow my guys. It's fun to see your guys be successful, and it's fun to see your guys play. It's fun to see, you know, them live out their dreams. Okay, Super Bowl 56, he does rep a Cincinnati Bengal and two L.A. Rams. Running back Raymond Calais, who's out on injury, and cornerback Tyler Hall from Hawthorne. He found Tampa Bay Buccaneer veteran Gio Bernard and his dad in high school. What's your goal for your players? Getting them set up to where when they're done playing, their ability to live a comfortable life and begin their second career is, is what we focus on. And honestly, we help transition them into. Like we have players that have become police officers. We have trainers in the NFL. Like some of them are real estate tycoons. The guys who are making up the NFL rosters that most people don't know, those guys played maybe two to five years. It was playing soccer at Irvine Valley College when Garamani decided he wanted to be an agent. I had a good friend of mine who basically taught me the game uh, it, through X's and O's and players and what makes a good player. My first year of law school, I just ended up running into a player that asked me to help him. And I was like, yeah, I can do that. And I was just young enough to be, you know, dumb enough to do it. It's family day on Super Bowl Sunday when Garamani will watch at the home of his sister where his two nephews are. Die hard Rams fan, like die hard. So as soon as the Rams made the Super Bowl, it was like, oh, we got to watch it here. I'm Christine Devine, Fox 11 News.